we've observed five challenges to the pure digital model as it relates to patients with chronic conditions. And again, we're talking about the older population that drives most of the cost. Those five things are number one, there's a big disconnect between healthcare culture and consumer based digital use. Think of healthcare culture for a second. Look at this population of people or us in the room. We've grown up for decades and decades and decades interacting with the healthcare system in a very passive way. We go see a smart person, I go see Dr. Jim, he fixes me, right? It's, it's passive relationship. I'm not taking active ownership. I'm not managing my health. I have to change the relationship I have with my health. That's happening, but in large numbers, based on what we've seen, it's, it's, it's not the majority of the people. Consumer digital is much more active. I take a picture, I post something, I sell something, I buy something. It's very different. So that's one major disconnect between you know, the reality of a healthcare culture versus the aspirations that were promised through a digital culture. Number two, demographics. We just talked about that. The older population have some systemic challenges um, as it relates to behavior change and the use of technologies. Over 100,000 apps, it's very confusing, very cluttered space what to use, how to use it, so on and so forth. Economics. We all heard that CMS recently said, no, we're not going to reimburse for digital DPP yet. That'll happen. It's got to happen. But it isn't there yet. And so now you're, you're faced with the reality that most digital technologies, as it relates to chronic conditions, are not reimbursable. Right? And so yes, self-insured employers, different conversation. Um, and then at the same time, they haven't really shown great impact and again, I'm talking in aggregate. There are absolutely some examples where things have been successful. But in aggregate, that drives down cost on a pure digital approach in a sustained way. So it's a very challenging economic model for this.